Hello my beautiful jewels and welcome to this edition of Ash on Tales. So today we're going to be talking about forgiveness and how you can use it within your relationships and how it can give you so much power to take back the pain that you are experiencing or may experience in your relationship. Let's get into it. You got problems in your life and you need advice. All you gotta do is ask Chantel. So my name is Chantel and I am a Christian advice columnist and natural mommy vlogger. I'm so excited to get into this topic. So we're gonna talk about value, okay? Let's start off with talking about value. When things are valuable in our lives, most of the time they cost a lot of money. But the most valuable thing that you will ever have is your time. And the way that you choose to use your time will determine how happy you will be in your relationships. And if you're holding on to pain and you are not choosing to forgive, then you are putting yourself in a position where you are wasting this precious thing of time. This precious thing of time that God gave us as a gift. And if you choose not to forgive, then you are going to cause yourself and the people around you so much pain. You're not going to be able to move forward. I have an analogy of a flower. You plant the seed of the flower in the ground. You water the flower. You make sure that the insects don't come and kill the flower. You put your time into growing the flower. But when you come back to look at the flower, it's not growing. It's not moving. It's not progressing. So in our relationship, you start off with the seed, you plant it, you water it. You wait for the sunshine to grow it. You make sure that you're not, the ants are not coming and you know, killing the flower. So you're taking the time to make sure that you're strategizing how to develop this relationship. You're putting your heart into it, your soul into it. You're meeting parents. You decide, okay, now is the time. I'm gonna give this person my heart. I'm gonna give this person my life. Okay, so you are giving to this flower, right? You giving to this person. And then you come back to see the fruit of your labor. Did the flower grow? Is the flower progressing? Is your relationship growing? No, instead of the relationship growing and progressing and for you to yield the results for which you put into it, that person does something that hurts you. It causes you pain. It makes you angry. So you come and you look at the flower, you see, my gosh, I put all of this into this flower. I put everything I had to try to make it grow and be beautiful. And I it was expecting something wonderful, but it's not growing. And then the person who you put all this time and this energy, right? This flower that you put all of this energy into is like, forgive me, okay? I'm trying here. And then you think to yourself, how can I forgive when I've given everything that I have? How can I move past what happened? How can I accept the fact that I must have done something wrong because when I planted this, nothing came from it. I'm not seeing the results that I expected when I put it here. How do you forgive? How do you let go of anger? How do you let go of pain? How do you address everything that you put in to yield no results. The easiest way to deal with that is to walk away. Give up. You think, I must be doing something wrong. This must not be right for me. I can't deal with this. That's our first reaction because this is not logical. It doesn't make logical or emotional sense for me to forgive, for me to walk away, you know, okay with what happened here. I need it to grow. I need to see that what I'm putting in, I'm getting something out. And so then we start to question ourselves. Am I putting everything that I could have into this relationship? You know, can I do this? Am I good at this? Then we start to question and doubt if we have the ability to forgive. Do I have the ability to try again to go back to the seed, dig it up, 
find a better place to plant it <laughs> put some more water on it or is it easier to just leave it there walk away start over and that's when people start getting divorced and they start walking away and they start losing friendships and ties instead of dealing with this selflessness of forgiving so you might ask how do i forgive where do i even begin to get the strength to forgive so forgiveness goes beyond us forgiveness is an act of god jesus came down and he died for us to forgive us from our sins so sometimes when the pain is so deep when the anger has become so much because you've held on to something for so long, sometimes it requires an act of God. You go to God and you say, this pain that I'm carrying, this weight that I have on my back, I can't carry it anymore. Because anger is okay. The Bible says anger, but sin not. But the Bible also says, if you have an ought against your brother, that you are to go to him. So we go to him and we tell him exactly how we feel. You have to express it because if you don't get it out, it's going to affect the way that you behave. You're going to be walking around upset. You're going to be having displaced anger with people who did nothing to you. Anything and everything that doesn't matter is going to bug you. <laughs> Instead of it being about the pain from the affair, instead of it being about the pain from the betrayal, you're going to be talking about you left the garage up last night. You're going to be talking about you didn't take the trash out. You're going to be lashing out in any way possible instead of actually addressing whatever the pain is. So you have to face it head on. You have to go to that person. You have to say, hey, you hurt me this is what it felt like and if you're not able to talk to that person directly then you have to find a way to express it you can pray and tell god like this is how this person felt you can journal you know uh, there's so many ways you can get it out but whatever you need to do to get it out get it out and then you can begin to move past it because the opposite of pain is joy and the joy of the Lord is our strength. So if strength is coming from God's joy that he gives, then you go to God to gain that strength. You go to God to forgive. And then the pain that you're feeling, he takes it. He deals with it. Not you, because we're only human. And pain hurts but if you give it to God he can give you a new perspective he can allow you to let it go he can allow you to move past whatever it is that you've been holding deep inside within you because if you choose to hold on to it all that's gonna happen is it's going to fester and it is going to cause you to not be able to live the best life that you can live your purpose be the best you because in your unconscious mind you're going to keep holding on to it so if you choose to forgive then you're choosing love you're choosing joy and know that it is a selfless act but with the fruit of the spirit of self-control you can take the power back you can take the power back in your life that you've been missing because you've been holding on to this hurt and this pain for this person that doesn't even need to have that kind of control over your life. Because sometimes when pain comes into our lives, we feel powerless because we weren't the one that put it there most of the time, or at least began the process of it being there. We held on to it and created more pain. So because pain can cause us to not forgive. And because we are holding on to this unforgiveness, it begins to take over our lives. And we can become where we feel powerless. Well, I'm telling you today that you can take the power back in your life. 
by choosing to forgive. The ability to choose is one of the most powerful things that you will ever have. And that was given to us from God. We have the ability to choose life, to choose joy, to choose happiness. And if you choose to take something so valuable, so precious as life, as the time that you've been given, and you choose to hold on to pain so that you can be depressed, so that you can be sad, so that you can walk around with this grayness around you and behave in such a way that people don't even want to be near you, then you are choosing not to be happy. So I want to encourage you today that whatever it is that you're holding on to or whatever it is that comes into your life that would be easier to hold on to than to let go, it's time to let it go. <laughs> that saying let go and let God is so true because if you let it go, he can restore your joy. He can restore your happiness and you can move past this pain and you can build a better relationship, a better marriage, a better you. But you have to decide to do that. And the first step is giving it to him. Just tell God what you're feeling, why you're feeling it, even though he knows, but he likes to hear from us. Pray for those people who have hurt you because the Bible does tell us to do that. And my goodness, will you see a change in your life? My goodness, will you be able to have a real smile on your face and a light around you that people want to be around? And then you can walk into your purpose and touch the people that you were meant to touch and build the relationship that you were meant to build because you chose life. I hope that this helps. If you guys have questions, feel free to email me. My email address is askchantel at gmail.com. That is A-S-K-C-H-A-U-N-T-E-L. If you enjoy this and you like to see more videos like this, I have a weekly audio relationship and live training that you can get right to your email inbox. Information on that is coming up. And I hope you guys like this. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next one. We all need support in our relay. Relationships. Mm -hmm. Hey Jewel, join me in Jewel Food, my affordable weekly life and relationship coaching right to your email inbox. Grab a cup of tea and sip with me as we get your life where you want it to be. <laughs> I want to help you to build healthier relationships, more faith-filled families, stronger marriages, and a more meaningful life. You can sign up today. The link is in the description box below, and you can always, of course, find all the information on ashontel.com. Go check out these videos that I have for you, and I'll see you on the next one. If you're a black woman and you're dating a white man, you need to know that people are gonna hate, but haters gonna hate. So what you gonna do about it? You can't let them ruin your life okay or ruin your great love that's what i'm saying <laughs>